Welcome to part two of Doreen Peterson's presentation at the International Phytoaromatic Conference in Nice, France. Let's take a look at the uh, physical characteristics of the oil. The most important thing about this uh, overhead is the relative density. Relative density is a simple measurement that can indicate the trichetone level of the soil and consequently the antibacterial and antimicrobial activity. Research completed by Porter and Wilkins showed that the chemotypes with a density of less than 0.92 had less trichetone content and less antimicrobial activity. fragrance potential of the soil. We all know that aroma perception is both a subjective and cultural experience. The aroma of Monica reminds me of New Zealand, the New Zealand bush on a hot day in my happy childhood, and I think it does have fragrance potential. This opinion is not shared by a number of authors on the subject, and I wanted to take this opportunity while I have some of the most expert noses in the world in front of me to do a little impromptu research. My friend Tony here is going to pass out some perfume strips that are dipped in Monica essential oil. I would appreciate it if you would take one, experience this, take a moment to grade your experience by actually writing on the strip for me. I'd like you to use one through 10 10 being you found it most pleasant, 1 being you found it very unpleasant. If you wouldn't mind, please drop the strip in the box, in the foyer, which is on the table. We are going to put the results of this little piece of research on our website, which is uh, herbed.com. It'll be up there in about a week. I thought that might be kind of fun, just to see what people really think of it. Let's now focus on the intriguing complexity of the soil and its great potential in the arena of healthcare. Three points of clinical interest, I feel, are it appears to be readily absorbed through the skin, it has low toxicity, and it has low allergenic activity. But for clinical use, particularly for the antibacterial potential, it is important that the correct chemotype is obtained. Researchers in New Zealand have found that there is evidence of three chemotypes of Manuka in New Zealand. There is the high pinene, the high triketone, and the complex sesquiterpene. The one we're interested in is the high triketone. I want to show you the specific geographical area in New Zealand that um, this high trichetone oil comes from. This area here, the East Cape. What this overhead also shows is that research, researchers actually took seed from 23 different plant populations and grew them under the same environmental conditions and produced the oil using one standardized distillation method. The resulting oils still retain their original chemical composition. This showed that the variation was genetic based rather than environmental rather than environmental based. The East Cape chemotype had the highest level of triketones, and this is the compound that has shown activity against the gram positive bacteria. And here is the total triketone content of the East Cape. And as you can see, the oil from other parts of New Zealand did not have an appreciable, it wasn't even detected. So this is the figure we're looking at. The distiller of the East Cape chemotype, um, when I was chatting with him last week, we were talking about some GCs that I had done on, on one, the same sample of, of Monica. And he indicated 
indicated to me that oftentimes the GC is not 100% reliable with the soil. As you probably know, um, the analysis of many compounds in oils is affected by different GC equipment and the method of analysis. And I just want to show you these two GCs that are of the same sample, but here's the uh, triphetone content on this one, and then if we look at the next one, it's quite different. Which is why I wanted to tell you about the relative density, because frequently you cannot go on the, uh, on the GC. So this is exactly the same oil from the same batch, and it's so varied. Okay, just to give you a quick summary of the compounds. It's a very complex oil, and I'm not going to go over all of these. But in addition to the other known substances, some of the following have been found. The monoterpenes, um, as you can see here, I've just listed out the, the uh, compounds. But the one we're really interested in today are the triketones. What is the relevance of all these constituents to aromatherapists? Well, monoterpenes are more volatile. They have lower boiling points and are therefore less persistent on the skin after topical application. The aroma note tends to be fresh to sharp and sweet. The antimicrobial activity is lower than the high triketone oil, but may be effective against a wider range of microorganisms. Sesquiterpenes are less volatile with a medium to high boiling point and are more persistent the aroma note is sweet to musty and more full-bodied. Sesquiterpenes have been reported to show strong antimicrobial activity. Triketones, which is the compound we're very interested in, have a very high boiling point, as I said before, and are less volatile. The aroma note tends to be resinous and musty. Triketones have been shown to have the highest activity against gram-positive bacteria. Well, by definition, the different chemotypes of Monica have different oil co compositions, which result in different aromas and biological activities. So it must not be assumed that all Manuka oils have similar composition and antimicrobial and antibacterial activity. And it is really vital that the composition of an oil is known before developing a clinical or commercial application. Well, let's take a look at the biological activity. Manuka oil shows activity against a wide range of microorganisms. Trials have shown it is particularly active against gram-positive staphylococcus. In this overhead, you can see the main triketones, flavazone, isoleptospermone, and leptospermone. Oils containing 23 to 28% of total tri triketones have a minimum inhibitory concentration against Staphylococcus aureus and methicillin-resistant Staph aureus equal to or less than 0.06%. Trials have been done in New Zealand using a wide range of microorganisms, including bacteria and yeast. Manuka, Karnaka, Australian tea tree, and pine were all used to compare relative activity. Well, what is it about these triketone molecules that make them so active? And what makes them so effective against antibiotic-resistant bacteria? The data on the following overheads is a compilation of work done by se several professional labs in New Zealand. This data shows the Actually, I don't know if I've got the right overhead here. Number 12. Well, this data shows the minimum inhibitory concentration. And for anyone who doesn't know what that is, it is the lowest concentration of oil in a liquid culture which will inhibit bacterial growth. So what we're looking for is low values. Low values show strong activity. And this test actually showed that uh, the activity was due to the triketones. 